Hey guys, it's Mark from Signature Camper Trailers and most of you have seen our three minute video of setting up a hybrid camper trailer. We thought we'd take the opportunity to actually show you how we do it. So let's open the roof up, we'll fold out the back and we'll swing out the, uh, the kitchen and the awning and actually give you a detailed run through of how to set up this camper trailer. Um, have a look at this if you're interested in buying one of our camper trailers um, or even if you've already, uh, fortunately enough, got one on order or ready to pick one up, um, use it as a bit of a step through before, you, before we bring you into the workshop and do a full handover. So guys, come with me, let's have a look over this camper trailer and I'll show you how we do the whole setup in under three minutes. So starting from the top, basically we need to get the roof open. So with the roof, you've got four latches and then you've got gas strut assisted uh, basically lever to get the whole roof up. So all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna undo the four latches on the four corners. If you're a bit short like me, don't be afraid to step on the rails. That's what they're there for. Now guys, you'll notice that I'm actually standing on these orange rails to get up here. There's two reasons for that. One, this particular fan uh, van has actually a lift kit installed in it, or a Lovell's lift kit. Um, so don't let you put that off. This has got a 40 mil lift over standard. So normally I can actually just reach it uh, with my hands. But yeah, in this case, we're climbing up. Then all we're gonna do, open the door, jump inside, and lever it up. You got a step out here that just folds out. That's the front. I'm gonna sit on the bed at the back and push the back up. And that's it guys, that's how we open the roof. So let's get the awning open while we're here. So it's an electric awning and all I'm gonna do is press this button here. As you can see, the awning's automatically coming out. It'll support the weight for a fair, fair bit until we can actually reach the legs, which are built in up here, fold the legs down, um, and then we'll just help it walk out. While that's doing its thing, we can actually get the kitchen open. So all I'm gonna do, pop this open, undo that and that, and the whole thing will just slide straight out. On the kitchen, you've got a couple of legs. So we're gonna drop the legs down Use the butterfly clips just to loosen it off, get the legs out and tighten them up. That way the kitchen's all nice and supported. And then all we're gonna do is open this up. So we've got our cooktop here. And under here is our sink and dish rack and light. So the awning's all the way out. We'll go and straighten these legs up. Got to make it look nice and neat. So guys, welcome to the back end of our camper trailer. So this is the um, obviously a hybrid setup. It's the same with the 13 foot or the 15 foot. And pretty much all that we need to do is we need to drop these wheels down and fold the back out. There's a few features about the actual back end of this, um, this camper trailer. So first of all, you've got the 50 mil hitch at the bottom here, um, which is out of the way, which means that you can have a bike rack. If you have a bike rack on this, for example, you'd need to actually remove it before you drop these wheels down or get a bike rack that's got the, um, the folding mechanism, which a lot of them do these days. So in order to drop these down, the wheels are on actually um, some big gas struts. So they're all self-supporting. Um, unique in our design um, is that basically is the rating of those gas struts to make sure they support the weight of each, each tire. 
So all I'm gonna do is undo these little clips for the pin and remove the pin. And then I've got two clips at the back here. Undo them, undo the latches, put them out of the way. And watch this, one hand, she just drops straight down. I'm not gonna do my back out doing that, that's for sure. Do the same on this side. Latches out of the way, and she just folds straight down. I'll whack that in there, and that keeps it all secure. So as you can see, tires are out of the way. Then we're gonna actually open the back area up. So this back door is unique in its design in that um, it's actually got locking mechanisms. So you've got two locks on the corners on each uh, latch here, which means you can actually lock the back end up. Keeps it secure, keeps it safe, um, keeps your insurance company happy, um, and obviously helps it lock in place. So they're a compression lock, which means they're adjustable. So over time, there's things where you can actually tighten them up. As I unclip them, there's three clips. You'll see up here that it's actually got a hinge mechanism up here. This is all protected with, uh, with a rubber strip, which basically looks after that hinge, keeps the waterproofing and dust proofing all good. As we open it up, you can see it's pretty solid. It's all reinforced, it's got support rails, it's lined with carpet, so it's all insulated. And most importantly, for all those outback travelers, you've got all of this automotive seal all the way around here, plus you've got uh, rubber seal all the way in here, which is gonna compress with all of these extrusions on the middle to, um, to basically keep all the dust and water out. So as that's up, I'm gonna undo that latch and fold that out. I'll undo that one and fold that one out. And we've got the back end already partly open. Now check out how tight that is already. So basically, it's already got a lot of structural support, but what we're gonna do is drop this back wall down. So two clips, one up there, one down there, and I'll lower it down. Now, look at that, we've already got access to the, uh, to the back of the van, which is great if you need to get your mattresses or anything out. Um, Best way to do it is to load and unload through this way, basically because you've got a full big opening in here. Um, or if you need to air the camper out for some particular reason, then this is the way to do it. But check this out. It's already nice and tight and secure. That's not going anywhere. That is as solid as you can get. And we've still got one more piece to lift up and put into place. So essentially, we've got a big back wall. So for the back wall, it's on gas struts. So it's actually going to lift up as soon as we unlatch it. So all I'm going to do is actually climb in. I'm going to use the tires for this one. Climb in and undo the two latches, which are sitting up in here. And then I've got one on the other side. And now I'm gonna jump down. Check this out. Yep. Now I'm gonna jump down. Check this out, guys. Look, no hands. So, as that folds up, locks into place, we lock them in, lock them up. And another feature with this particular design is all of these latches um, are obviously very bl bloody hard wearing, but they're also lockable. So you can basically get a key, um, you can lock these two latches up, which again, completely locks all this up, seals it in, completely protects you both from theft. Um, you've got rain protection, dust protection, the whole thing. It's all fully sealed. Um, and yeah, look at that, it's rocking the whole fan. So guys, walls up, one last thing. Let's throw the mattress into place, that way we can make the bed. And then we're all set up, ready for a beer. So come on in. <laughs> Someone forgot the beer. We'll open the door. Come into our oasis. So the way these campers are designed is you've actually got two mattresses. You need to basically just move the top section of the mattress back, which then creates a huge oversized queen, uh, queen bed. So all I'm gonna do, pick it up, nice and lightweight. This particular mattress is actually our uh, optional upgraded Dunlop posture foam mattress. So I'll slide that in there, drop it down. Look at that, my doona's almost already ready to go. Fold that over. I'll grab some pillows, but otherwise we're made. We've set up camp. I'm gonna go and get the fridge out, um, cook up some tucker and, um, and yeah, set up camp for a night. So guys, thanks for watching. Make sure you like, subscribe and all the other jazz. Um, if you wanna come and check out one of our camper trailers, make sure you come and check out one of our dealerships in Sydney, Western Australia, South Australia. Um, we're all over the place, plus obviously the website. Um, enjoy the videos, lots more to come. Um, still heaps more that's on, on, uh, on the channel. So thanks very much and we'll see you next time.